Hello, I'm Lieutenant Commander Jared Rispins. I am an Epidemic Intelligence Service Officer and member of the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps, assigned to VSP, or the Vessel Sanitation Program. VSP helps the cruise ship industry prevent and control the introduction, transmission, and spread of gastrointestinal, or GI illnesses. And I'm Dr. Amy Lavery. I'm an EIS officer with GRASP, or the Geospatial Research Analysis and Services Program. GRASP is a group dedicated to applying geospatial science, technology, and data visualization to address public health problems. We collaborate with partners across CDC to study patterns associated with environmental health, infectious and chronic disease, public health emergencies, and injuries. CDC and ATSDR use GIS, or Geographic Information Systems, to investigate disease outbreaks or other public health threats as they emerge. The role of GIS during public health investigations advances CDC's efforts to stop outbreaks as they occur in the U.S., overseas, or at sea. The GRASP and VSP partnership is important because we're applying geospatial science and technology to enhance traditional public health investigations. GI illnesses can be challenging to control on cruise ships because of the close living quarters, shared dining areas, and rapid turnover of passengers. When a ship docks, illnesses can get on board through contaminated food or water, or by passengers infected while ashore. Outbreak investigations are important to stop illness from spreading from one voyage to another. We use a surveillance system to observe GI illness patterns on cruise ships. We determine the magnitude of illness aboard the ship, the pathogen causing the illness, and the risk factors associated with the illness. And then we recommend control measures to prevent the illness or stop the spread. In 2018, we piloted ways to use GIS to understand cruise ship outbreaks in time and space, meaning when and where an outbreak occurred. Using GIS, we developed three-dimensional models of the cruise ship. We then used these 3D models to map rooms that had sick passengers and observed where sick passengers were on the ship over the length of the voyage. The 3D model of the cruise ship enabled CDC investigators to identify links and patterns in the outbreak by providing a more realistic visual presentation of the outbreak from multiple perspectives. CDC also used GIS to look for important spatial patterns during a cruise ship outbreak, such as a cluster of rooms with sick people. GIS enabled CDC to see spatial patterns more clearly than we could using traditional methods. These investigations illustrate the powerful way that geospatial science and technology can advance CDC's response to outbreaks on cruise ships. To learn more, please visit the CDC ATSDR website.